Hey guys, I'm back with another video for you today and today I'm doing a preview review of fragrances, six fragrances from a new niche house out of Italy, Lorenzo Pazzalia. Fragrances, he's a chef and now he's become a perfumer and these are some excellent fragrances. All of them are Exhale de Parfum concentration, very, very long lasting with 40% concentration and I'm going to tell you what they are, what they smell like and what my favorite fragrances are. There's six of them here and we have a worldwide giveaway so if you want to find out about these fragrances then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian and yes today I'm talking about Lorenzo Pazzalia. He's a chef, as I said, and he started creating fragrances. I only have six of the eight or so fragrances that are from this house. And these fragrances were sent to me, and I'm going to let you know honestly what I think about them. I have my favorites. I actually really like three of them. Two of them are fine for me. One of them is overly aquatic, so obviously you guys know I'm not into the aquatics. But I'm going to let you know and I'll tell you what I think about it when I'm telling you about the fragrances. And of course, we have that giveaway, so stick around. It's a worldwide giveaway, one full bottle of your choice to a subscriber of this channel. So before I get to the fragrances though, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So as I said, these are 40% concentration Exhale de Parfum bottles. This is what the bottles look like right here. So 50 ml, 130 euros. I have links to two places you can buy the fragrances from in the info box. One to Lorenzo Pazzalia's website and then of course another is a store, Profumix, that sells fragrances. So you can go check those out there. And uh, you know, I discovered these recently. A friend of mine in Italy told me these are really, really great and I got to you know, check them out. And I received them, as I said, these were sent to me. I'm letting you know honestly what I think about them. And I have my favorites, of course. My favorites are some of my favorite styles. And I'm gonna start off, first off, here with Carbonara. So I said he's a chef. Lorenzo Pazzaglia is a chef. And obviously he's known for Carbonara. One of my favorite, favorite dishes from Italy. I love it. And so my favorite of the, the bunch happens to be carbonara. But you know what? This does not smell like spaghetti carbonara. Not at all. It's an amber, aromatic, spicy amber fragrance. And it's really, really great and very, very long lasting. Very, very dense. A little goes a long way. Of course, as I said, it's 40% concentration. So you only need a few sprays to make this thing last all day and into the night. So this is a 2020 launch. And again, this is my favorite. It's an amber. It's a spicy amber. Features notes of amber, vanilla, sandalwood, black pepper, pink pepper, coconut, davana, jasmine, rum, smoke, sugarcane, oud. Lots of stuff going on and as I said it's called carbonara but it doesn't smell like carbonara but it does feature one of the notes that's known to be featured in carbonara is the black pepper because I, I every time I've had carbonara there's a load of black pepper on it so that does come up pretty prominently here in this particular fragrance but it's it's an uh, extremely intense syrupy but dry and powdery amber but there's a lot of spice here the black pepper pink pepper also comes in and overwhelms with its spiciness so some of you really like black pepper fragrances i personally like them with other notes like ambers vanilla and things like that i don't like the fragrance to be all about black pepper Pink pepper is another story, but you know, I like it here because it contrasts beautifully with that amber, the syrupiness, the gooiness, the resinous and balsamic touches with the, the amber note in here. It is a little smoky, definitely very, very balsamic, and of course you experience the creaminess in this as well. You've got that coconut kind of in here to give it like a contrasting creaminess to blend with that amber touch in here. A little bit of booziness, not a lot, very, very lightly. And, you know, light oud with smoke, uh, you know, smoke in addition to the oud comes in as well. But this is mostly about the vanilla, the amber, sandalwood, and black pepper working beautifully together. So my favorite of the bunch is Carbonara from Lorenzo Pazzaglia. 
and I hope you guys get to try this one. So this is the first fragrance I'm talking about. So the second fragrance I'm going to talk to you about today is Bloody Smoke. This is it right here. So this is, the name Smoke is in here and it's called Bloody Smoke and I don't know where the bloody comes from, but I think I can tell. Because this has a kind of a minerally metallic quality to it and what does blood Blood is uh, known for having kind of a metallic, uh, you know, touch or whatever, taste. I, <laughs> as a kid, I used to, you know, when I had a little cut, I used to, you know, you know, lick my finger with the blood on it. But so I, I remember having that kind of metallic touch. And here we have that in this particular fragrance. So this is a 2021 launch, came a year after Carbonara. And this features notes of incense, mineral notes, metallic notes, Elemi resin, olibanum, myrrh, ambergris, sandalwood, tonka beans, and jasmine. So it's all these resins and uh, resinous notes, uh, basically, with of course the mineral touches and of course the metallic touches. And they really do work wonderfully together here. It's woody, but mostly balsamic and resinous. And of course that mineral metallic touch comes in. It's really, really nice. I think this is a great fragrance. It smells wonderful. It is incense-y. But uh, it does get smoky too, but again, it's not an overly smoky incense. It's more of the actual physical resins rather than burning it. Because I personally experience the resins in its physical form rather than when you're actually burning those resins to create the smoke. At least I do. And even though it's called bloody smoke, I, I experience it in their physical form. Lightly smoky though, and it totally makes sense with the bloody uh, smoke with blood having a metallic, you know, touch to it. Really a great fragrance. I think this is great. I do want to also mention Carbonara to me is a lot more intense on me in comparison to this particular fragrance, but both of them are really, really wonderful. Now, the third fragrance that I like from Lorenzo Pazzaglia is Dream Sea, this one right here. This is a 2021 launch as well. And Dream Sea, even though it has the word sea, it's not a sea and ocean and fish and things like that. This particular C fragrance, there's two C fragrances in the collection, is a, a really, really great fragrance. And it features the ozonic touches. Again, I've sp spoken a lot about ozonic notes. This features ozonic notes. Probably they're getting the ozonic notes or the oz ozonic accord from either violet leaves or cucumbers and things like that. So always mention that if you look through a cucumber, what you see inside is the way you experience ozonic fragrances. And it's totally, totally prominent here. Very, very much so. So the notes in here are ozonic notes, water, white flowers, salt, vanilla, pink pepper, black pepper, sandalwood, spices, green notes, and ambergris. So ambergris comes up in this particular fragrance as well. And you know, it did come up here, and I did forget to mention in here, in Bloody Smoke, there is a little bit of an animalic touch. Not a lot, very, very lightly. Here, the ambergris is here as well, but this one doesn't get animalic to me. I think what happens with this fragrance is it's very, very watery, and of course, as I said, ozonic. So just imagine, you know, watery experience, not going into the sea where the ocean, you know, doesn't smell like marine. It just has a very watery, crisp experience. You experience some light floral touches in here. There are some non-distinct white flowers. Perhaps it's some magnolia, maybe a little jasmine, things like that coming in here. And then you also have the saltiness. There is definitely a contrast of salt in here and you know salt can remind you of the sea but definitely this one doesn't so there is a little bit of a sweetness also with vanilla it's definitely a contrast and i like this combining vanilla with ozonic notes i love that kind of combo it's uh, you know they're so different there's a watery crisp experience and this kind of like gooey syrupy sweet experience so they do marry nicely even though they're contrasted some spices in here are the pink pepper and black pepper as well and it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance again it's my third fra favorite fragrance from this house but it's uh i really enjoy these three fragrances the most in the collection and i enjoy wearing them and you know they're so strong this particular one is also strong the first one carbonara carbonara and this one uh are both really, really strong, except uh, Bloody Smoke was not as intense, even though I thought it might be, but 
It's just the way it's wearing on me. But here, it's a really, really intense experience and a little goes a long way. But a beautiful fragrance, Dream Sea. I enjoy Ozonic style fragrances and it's definitely a full-on Ozonic fragrance here with Dream Sea. Glad it's not uh, marine. And we do have a marine fragrance in the collection. I'm gonna tell you all about it. But in the meantime, Dream Sea is my third favorite fragrance. All right, now the fourth fragrance in the collection that I enjoy is called Extreme Passion. This one right here. This is a 2015 uh, fragrance, launched in 2015. So it seems like this is probably one of the oldest in the collection and the latest being 2021. So he's been uh, making fragrances for, uh, since 2015. So the name Extreme Passion, I was thinking to myself before I looked up notes, what does it remind me? I didn't even smell the fragrance. I thought to myself, it's got to feature passion fruit, extreme passion. And as soon as I smelled it, I thought, okay, this is kind of like that fruity kind of passion fruity, you know, lightly tropical kind of an experience. And yes, it does feature passion fruit among other uh, fruits in this particular fragrance. Passion fruit, peach, pear, grapes, citruses, white musk, jasmine, sandback, lily of the valley, magnolia, amber, bourbon, vanilla, oak moss, and sandalwood. So it's an intense overload of lots of fruits. It does wear fresh, but there is a little bit of a woody backbone here. In, in fact, I shouldn't say woody. The woodiness is just a complete opposite of the freshness of the fruit. So to me, I feel like it's the yin and yang. Fruits on one side and lots of woods on the other, and it kind of balances out. Although we have more fruits than, uh, you know, woods in this particular fragrance, but it's a nice balance because, you know, woods are a lot heavier than how heavy fruits can be. And you can see that this one has the passion fruit, the peach, pear, grapes, and then, uh, uh, of course, the citruses, which I'm going to, you know, uh, categorize in the fruit section. And you've got some woods. And so it's a nice balance. Light uh, muskiness and, of course, some light flowers as well. I do enjoy it, but I think I have smelled fragrances like this before. But once again, it's an intense experience. 40% concentration, extrait de parfum. Uh, you know, concentration of fragrance. So this is Extreme Passion from Lorenzo Pazzalia. Let me know if you know this house. Have you sampled their fragrances? I'd like to find out because it's very, very new. And this is the first time I'm really experiencing them, although I've had these fragrances for a good three weeks now testing them out here and there and uh, let me know if you're uh, familiar with this particular brand. If you're in Italy, what do you think about them? So the last two fragrances uh, were not really my favorites and this is definitely going down the list in order of what my preference is. So this is just my opinion. Uh, you might react completely different to my favorite. You might not like it as much as you like this particular one. This is Esco Pazzo, launched in 2018. So this is a very interesting fragrance that has a very, very unique unique notes and kind of green notes contrasted with spices, tobacco, leather. So it, it's a very, very different kind of a fragrance. I haven't uh, smelled a fragrance like this. So there's always a new fragrance that I'm smelling. Oh, and even though I smell fragrances that are very similar or somewhat similar style to other fragrances, this came off very, very original to me uh, as in a smell. But it is a Fragrance focusing on black pepper. It's a lot of black pepper. And what did I say at the beginning of the video? It's not one of my favorite fragrances when the fragrance is focusing on the black pepper. But it sure enough has other notes here to contrast with this one. It is uh, black pepper, artemisia, cypress, mate, spices, amber, tobacco, leather, ambergris, musk, saffron, citruses, lavender. So this particular fragrance is ultra woody and ultra spicy. There's some smoke in here and it does act a little animalic uh, to me. In fact, I shouldn't say a little. It acts a lot animalic to me and I think maybe that's what's kind of uh, putting me off with this particular fragrance. But you know, there's other things going on so it's not overwhelming and I felt like the leather in here could also be a little animalic. But lots of black pepper, Artemisia comes in, throws in a little bit of a greenish kind of a fruitiness like tea kind of quality and then you've got cypress mate green 
cypress green, and then the spices, and of course amber. But you know, leather, tobacco, lots of stuff going on in here. Very, very busy fragrance. It's a very busy in a way that there's so many different things in so many different directions this particular fragrance is going. And uh, it's complex is what I should say, because there's a lot going on, so many different notes. Uh, and then, you know, they're playing uh, beautifully together. It's just, for me, I felt it was just a little overly animalic and I didn't enjoy it. And it was also a little overly black peppery or peppery, I should say. Either way, that's Escopazzo. This is the fifth fragrance in the collection and I should also say it's my fifth favorite and finally from what I hear this is the most popular fragrance in this collection and sadly it's an aquatic or it's a marine and it's not one of my favorite fragrances this is black sea remember I said dream sea and then black sea so I prefer Dream Sea over Black Sea, and Black Sea is full on marine, whereas Dream Sea was all ozonic. Black Sea came out in 2019, it features salt, more salt, and even more salt, with marine notes, ozonic notes, watery notes, white musk, ambergris, algae, orange blossom, myrtle, bergamot, ylang ylang. So there's a lot of floral notes, but it's a very, very salty marine experience. So just imagine, Diving into the sea, it's, you know, actually the sea or the ocean or whatever, uh, so it's salty, right? And you accidentally get a lot of that water in your mouth and you get the saltiness and, you know, whatever flavor of the sea is. So that is very, very uh, key here. It is a very, very marine fragrance, but this is also contrasted with lots of woods as well. So there's woods and flowers and then also all this aquatic marine salty stuff. Um, again, it's popular because people love that kind of marine type of fragrance. Uh, it's just, for me, it's just not my favorite genre. I much prefer Carbonara and I much prefer um, Bloody Smoke. Those are really, really great. Unfortunately, Black Seed just didn't do it uh, for me. But again, as I said, you might dig it. It's a full-on marine, salty marine fragrance with flowers and ozonic notes and some woods and uh, also um, some citruses. Anyway, that is Black Sea, the sixth fragrance and final fragrance I'm going to discuss with you today from the Lorenzo Pazzaglia house. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this uh, house once you've watched this video, which one sounds the best to you. And to participate in the giveaway, what you have to do is put down why you watched this video, what you liked about the video, and which fragrance sounds the best to you. If you're in the States, put down your state. And then, of course, if you're in uh, elsewhere, please put down your country to qualify. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.